This lesson will show how to make a dot plot, histogram, and box plot for the given test scores using Desmos.com. To begin, go to Desmos.com and click Graphing Calculator. First, we enter the data as a list. Let's use the variable D for the list. Let's enter D equals. To enter the test scores one by one, we must use square brackets, which can be found on the Desmos keypad by clicking the Show Keypad button, the ABC button, and the square brackets are here at the bottom. However, if the data is in a spreadsheet, we can simply copy and paste the data in one step. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's close this keypad. I already have the data in Excel. I'm going to highlight the data, copy by pressing Control C, go back to Desmos, and paste the data by pressing Control V. If we press Enter, we can see we have 48 test scores, and notice how the test scores are in square brackets. And now let's create the dot plot. We can either type in dot plot or go back to the Desmos keypad, click Functions, click Distribution, and click Dot Plot. And notice how Desmos is telling us we enter the data set, comma, the bin width. So in our case, we enter D. By default, the bin width is 1. So if we press Enter, the bin width is set to 1. Notice how we don't see anything. We need to adjust the window. We can do this quickly by clicking the Zoom Fit button below the green circle. And now we have our dot plot. Again, if we want to change the bin width, we can go back to the variable D and enter a comma 2, for example. And now the bin width is 2. Let's leave the bin width on 1, so we can either change the 2 back to a 1 or delete the 1 in the comma. I will go ahead and leave it like this. And now let's go ahead and click and hold on the green circle on the left and look at our options. We can change the style of the points, the size, as well as the color. Let's change the style to an X. Let's change the size to small. And let's change the color to orange. To close the menu, just click outside the menu. And now we have our completed dot plot. Let's create the histogram. Let's click in cell 3. We can either type in histogram or go back to the Desmos keypad click Functions, and under Distribution, click Histogram. And again, we need to enter the data set, comma, the bin width. So if we type in the variable D, by default the bin width is 1, and we can see the histogram right over the dot plot. But let's have a bin width of 10, and therefore let's enter comma 10. And now we have our histogram with the bin width of 10. We have some options here at the bottom, but before we go over that, Let's click and hold on the purple circle on the left and change the color to, let's say, red. Close this menu. And now under the bar height, we have the option of count, relative, or density. Actually, let's close the Desmos keypad for a moment. Let's click, hold, and drag the graph to reposition it. Right now, the bar height is on count, which means the height of each bar represents the number of test scores in the interval. If we click on relative and then click zoom fit, the sum of the heights of the bars is equal to 1 or 100%. If we click on density and then click zoom fit, the sum of the area of the bars is equal to 1. Let's go back to count and let's adjust the window again by pressing zoom fit. Notice how we did not get the original window, so let's go ahead and click the plus button in the upper right hand corner to zoom in and then reposition the graph. For bin alignment, we have the option of center or left. Right now it's set on center. If we click on left, the bin alignment is now on the left. Let's go back to the center bin alignment, and then we'll finish by making our box plot. To do this, we will click in cell four, go back to the Desmos keypad, click functions, under the distribution menu, click box plot, and then enter the list of data, which is the variable D. Let's close the Desmos keypad. Notice right now the box plot is at the bottom overlapping the dot plot on histogram. But we can change this by changing the offset as well as the height. Notice how the highest bar is 21. Let's change the offset to let's say 24. 
tab and let's change the height to let's say 3 and now the box plot looks a lot better. So as you can see Desmos makes it very easy to display a data set as a dot plot histogram or box plot. I hope you found this helpful.